the programme before, we've actually spoken about Bitcoin. Uh, it's the online currency which isn't printed by governments or traditional banks. In a moment, we'll talk to the Aldridge man who's been investing and, let's face it, done pretty well out of them, actually. First, here's our technology correspondent, Rory Kethlin-Jones, who explains how they work. Unlike a normal currency, Bitcoin is not controlled by any central bank or government. Instead, it depends on a network of computers which all record any transactions. You hold it in what's called a wallet on your phone or computer, with a unique address allowing you to send or receive Bitcoin. New Bitcoin are created in a process called mining, which involves computers solving increasingly complex problems. Actually, as Bitcoin soars in value, it's becoming less and less useful as a currency. Why would you spend it today when it'll be worth lots more tomorrow? So goes the thinking. And that's just one reason many are sceptical about Bitcoin. David Gerrard has been studying and writing about it for six years. This is how economic bubbles work, right? People buy because other people are buying and they buy assuming I can always sell it and get rich. When the bubble pops, and that's when, not if, it's going to be a disaster for a lot of people. And ever more energy is used by vast banks of computers mining Bitcoin. One more reason to wonder whether this financial experiment has a sustainable future. Rory Kathleen Jones. Now, James Bull has invested in bitcoins and uh, he, he's, he's done rather well out of actually sitting opposite me, looking okay. quite glossy as a result. <laughs> uh, tell us how it started. What was your initial investment? Uh, it was about £480, but that was off a, a 50p each way bet on the horses. So therefore you, wow, this man is Mr Luck incarnate by the sound of it. So you actually bet 50 pence on the horses and you won 480 mm, quid. Yeah. And then you invested that in Bitcoin. Correct. Right, OK. And at Bitcoin at its highest, how much did you got? Uh, I've, I've, well, at the moment, I've actually diversed. I actually hold a lot more of what we call alternate currencies. So at the moment, I hold in about 20% of my portfolio in Bitcoin. But give us a figure. How much are you worth? Uh, but it's about just over a quarter of a million at just the moment. Just over a quarter of a million pounds. Why did you get involved with Bitcoin's to start with, because it strikes me, because Rory was there talking about bubbles bursting and stuff like that. A bit risky, isn't it? Well, I'd always been, I follow a guy called Tony Robbins, and I went to one of his seminars in June 2016. He was talking about this cashless society, started doing some research, and, and really uh, some of the, the problems that Bitcoin or, or some of the other currencies solve, things like remittance, where people, um, they come from different countries, they, they work low paid jobs and then they try and send that money back to their families and you know they go through western union currency changes and you know they end up lo losing 20 30 percent and things with like a cryptocurrency is where you know they can earn that money transfer it into currency a and then send that back to their family so they get the hundred percent of that benefit so just little things like that i just for me it that you know it solves real life problems it struck you as being a good way to go did you know exactly what they were when i first invested yeah uh I would say 80% or so. Like, I did a lot of research, but it's like anything. Once you really get into it and into the depths of it, you start to learn even more. And Because, you know, you start off with the 50 pence, which you get to 480 quid via a bet, which is not bad going, let's face it. <laughs> and then you put it into bitcoins, and it made you a quarter of a million pounds. Now, the thing is, though, it's a quarter of a million pounds in bitcoin, is it? So, you know, is it really something you could... You couldn't go into a bank and say... Uh, give me my £250,000 worth of bitcoins in pound coins. No, if, if I could go to an exchange and cash it out, or I've got a what we call a 10x card, so literally anywhere that has a Visa point, I can load up my 10x wallet and, and just go and spend it. I've got to ask you, why haven't you done that? Uh, I, I'm a long-term believer. I think um, you know you've got blockchain, but uh, the blockchain technology behind it is Block, blockchain. Blockchain again. This is getting complicated. I've I've heard that expression blockchain. What is it exactly? It's really the technology that sits behind um, Bitcoin itself, and it's I think it's that that's really going to transform like different industries in just the, and how secure it is and um, and sort of the benefits and properties that it brings. Right, already someone says, can you get Andy, can you get to that gentleman to get in touch with me? Uh, because that's the thing, isn't it? Um, yeah. You know, but again, Rory Kethlin Jones uh, telling us just a few moments ago, our technology correspondent, it's a bubble. So therefore, you could be, at the moment, you're, you're riding higher with 250 grand's worth of bitcoins or whatever. Mm. Uh, by this time tomorrow, you could be back to 480 quid again, couldn't you? Potentially, I suppose. Is If you look at historically at bubbles, you've had um, uh, sort of like the tech bubble. We had so many 
brilliant companies come out there. And there was lots of other companies that were trying to do stuff that failed. I think we'll see the same with the cryptocurrency, that there'll be some excellent projects that will thrive and there'll be some that won't make it. And, and people look at it and go, well, those companies didn't and people lost money and it was a bubble. But they'll... I think it's just investing in the right things. How's Bitcoin doing currently on the exchange? Because I, I remember that you know it was all in, over the newspapers. Bitcoin, Bitcoin, Bitcoin. Uh oh, Bitcoin's gone. You know, has has gone down quite a lot. Yeah. So the futures market uh, came into play at the start of January or end of December, where they're basically betting on Bitcoin going down. So there's no surprise that the price of Bitcoin is going down at the moment. But uh, 4 p.m. today the final uh, futures contract will finish. So again, I'll be watching closely to see where the price goes. Are you ever going to pull out? or you going to just Because bearing in mind, you started all this with 50 pence. Uh, yeah. I've got... In some ways, it hasn't cost you anything, has it? No, I've, I've got like little stages where I'm going to... I, the first thing I'm going to do is pay off my mortgage. I was going to say, maybe you ought to get on that quick just beforehand. <laughs> what do you do the rest of the time? you're going to work after this, aren't you? Yeah, I'm uh, account manager at Cadbury's. Oh, I see. So therefore, you're involved in money anyway. So you know what that's all <laughs> It's the bitcoins. Well, there we are. The cameras, they're not the little chocolate gold coins, are they? The no, we stopped doing them. Yeah. Oh, there's a shame. <laughs> That's every Christmas we used to have those. Well, brilliant. That's absolutely marvelous. Well done to you. And I'm going to say you're braver than I am, James. And that's the thing. So uh, uh, it's uh, something that just hope the bubble doesn't burst on you. Oh, thank you. The man weeping, weeping into his choco milk <laughs> uh, because things have gone badly wrong. James Ball, thanks very much indeed for such a good sport on the program. Now, now let's talk bitcoins. Let's talk to the Midlands man who's been investing in this virtual men and has done pretty well out of them. Uh, good morning, James Ball. Good morning. Hi, how you doing? I'm well, but you're in a good position. Talk. Let's tell. Let's go to the beginning of your story. Uh, Bitcoins. How did you get involved in them? Well, basically, um, I follow a guy called Tony Robbins, and uh, I go to a lot of his seminars. And he was talking about like a cashless society uh, back in June 2016. Got me very interested. Did a lot of research for about uh, maybe six months before I eventually jumped in and I, I was just at work and we were playing on betting on the horses as such I had a quid and uh, I did an accumulator and ended up with like 490 odd pounds and Ooh. I just thought um, well it's risk free let's give it a go I'd done my research I was and I just, it everything sounded um, like you know it was the next new technology so I invested and today it's over a quarter of a million so it's it's gone quite well okay so okay, that sounds too good to be true but like, what are bitcoins how do they work well basically it's, it's like a virtual currency uh and the, the best way i could probably describe it is something like a club card point so you never actually physically hold it like a, a pound uh, or uh, you know coins and mm -hmm. stuff however it's stored in like a digital wallet and it's transacted between people. So you, you can physically buy stuff now. So you've got things like a, a 10x card, which works exactly like Visa. So you hold the, the currency yeah. in your virtual wallet uh, and you can just go spend it. But hold on a minute. Why don't you just cash in now? You, you know, If your Bitcoins are worth a quarter of a million, could you get that now and just say, look, OK, I'm out? <laughs> I could do. I could uh, cash out today and uh, put my feet up and uh, all the rest of it. But um, I've just got big belief in terms of where the currency is going. Now, I don't think if you look at Bitcoin, it's like the poster boy at the moment. So people see that as the, the entry point. But behind that, there is another world of cryptocurrency where I, I think there's even potentially better currencies out there that will be the long-term oh, you know uh, currency that we use. You, I tell you, you are a, a really confident guy because I'd be cashing in right now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, why wait till tomorrow when it's in your pocket now? So what, what could it be worth in, say, six months? Um, I think it'd be quite irresponsible for me to chuck out a price prediction and, and for people because I don't want people jumping in on my recommendation. Oh, but okay. what I would say is I think the technology behind bitcoin is something called blockchain and blockchain is is really what's going to revolutionize okay. a lot of things that, like supply chain but, and but you won't lose your money because i'm hearing i am hearing other things about bitcoin that it's been overinflated but you don't, you're not going to lose this money well the thing is at the end of the day as long as it doesn't go down to a pound i'm in profit okay well listen james we'll keep an eye on you and your story you. <laughs> and james ball the midlands man who's invested in virtual money and at the moment is cashing in so what do you know about bitcoin then it's the digital currency which is the future of money or is it or is it just a fad in a moment we'll talk to one man who's done pretty well out of it first here's our technology correspondent rory kathleen jones who explains how they work Unlike a normal currency, Bitcoin is not controlled by any central bank or government. 
Instead, it depends on a network of computers which all record any transactions. You hold it in what's called a wallet on your phone or computer, with a unique address allowing you to send or receive Bitcoin. New Bitcoin are created in a process called mining, which involves computers solving increasingly complex problems. Actually, as Bitcoin soars in value, it's becoming less and less useful as a currency. Why would you spend it today when it'll be worth lots more tomorrow? So goes the thinking. And that's just one reason many are skeptical about Bitcoin. David Gerrard has been studying and writing about it for six years. This is how economic bubbles work, right? People buy because other people are buying and they buy assuming I can always sell it and get rich. When the bubble pops, and that's when, not if, it's going to be a disaster for a lot of people. And ever more energy is used by vast banks of computers mining Bitcoin. One more reason to wonder whether this financial experiment has a sustainable future. Well, James Bull has invis invested in Bitcoin and put in £490 to start. Uh, morning, James. Morning. So, so how much have you made since, since, since that investment? Uh, over a quarter of a million. What? Uh, and is, is that actual money here or is that money that's sitting in your Bitcoin account? So that's sitting uh, currently in my Bitcoin account, and if I cash it in today, that's what I would get. So are you tempted? Uh, not at the moment, no. So you're going you're gonna, to you're sit and wait? Yeah, I've got quite big belief in, in where the industry is going with cryptocurrency as a whole, not just uh, Bitcoin itself. What, why, why do you think that? Why do you think this is the way forward? I just think that a lot of currencies just aren't working. So if you look at some poorer countries where the, you know, currency inflation is just massive where you could you have to be a billionaire to buy a loaf of bread if we look at the the american market the dollar you know they're 20 trillion dollars in debt yet they're only bringing in 3.3 trillion dollars i can't see that working for too much longer and there needs to be another option i think cryptocurrency it might not even be bitcoin there's a, a plenty of other currencies out there like bitcoin is like the poster boy uh, of cryptocurrency, but there's loads of others out there which which, which really solve some real-life problems. Well, what if it doesn't work out, though? What if the bubble does burst? Uh, I, I think it's like most things. You know, there's lots of new technologies that have come throughout the ages. Um, some have been absolutely revolutionary and changed the world, and some have failed. Uh, I think that's just the nature of things. So, so, so you're prepared to take the gamble? Well, yeah, I mean, for in my personal circumstance, uh, you know, the, the whole total investment was one pound. R really? Not not £490 like we said? Uh, well, that was, um, I put I put a 50p each way bet on uh, some uh, a horse race. I know nothing about horse racing, by the way. And uh, that <laughs> delivered uh, 490-odd quid, and that's what I used to, to start the investment. So how, how much are you looking to make? How much would you like to make out of this? Uh, well, I've set a target for this year of over a million. So over over a million for this year, yeah. Okay, and and you're looking beyond that, or is was, was that enough for now? Uh, no, definitely got some bigger targets in place. I think uh, the market's just moved a lot faster than I ever thought. So when I originally bought it, I thought I did all like my pr research and price analysis, and uh, I thought I'd get like three or four thousand back. But obviously, the the market has really taken off. It has. Well, James, thank you very much for t for telling us about it this morning. No worries. Very, when you make all that money, remember us, won't you? <laughs> I will okay. do. <laughs> Thanks, James. I'm sure he will. As uh, James Bull, who's making a small fortune with bitcoins, and I think some people just have that, that kind of gambling instinct that are prepared to go with it a bit more, you aren't see, they? See, at that point, that he's gone with a 490 investment, and he's what a quarter of a million. Yeah, quarter of a million. I'd be, I would have to take the money. I'd, I'd, lose, I'd lose. I'd yeah. lose the I'd lose my nerve actually at that point. I think. Well, if you've got that, and, and that's it a just, reality, it's just bonkers. It's, it doesn't mean anything, though. No, no, no. I, I don't understand it. That's it it's the all, thing. It, it's all this, this currency that isn't actually And it's not real. legal tender. You can't use it to pay your taxes or anything. And, unless someone buys it off you. That's yes, the, and, yeah. and, and that's the thing that you need to get in order to get the money back. Oh, it's very complicated and I've got a headache coming on. Anyway, James understands it. He's doing... <laughs>